What's up guys, Jorge Contreras here, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to get started in real estate investing as a beginner. Well, I got three major tips for you guys. Number one is you have to get educated. And the best way that I recommend is by reading Rich Dad Poor Dad. As a matter of fact, you can actually listen to the audiobook absolutely free on YouTube. Just go to the YouTube search bar and put Rich Dad Poor Dad audiobook. It's about three hours and it's really gonna kickstart your experience and learning so that you could start learning how to become a real estate investor. One of my favorite things about Rich Dad Poor Dad is that it helps you transition your mindset and your beliefs and thoughts from an employee mindset to an entrepreneur mindset. By the way, I am gonna put the Rich Dad Poor Dad, uh, if you wanna get the paperback, I'm gonna put a link in the description below if you prefer to actually read it in person. The second thing that I recommend is to start surrounding yourself with people that have a common vision just like you wanting to get into real estate it makes it so much easier when you have people around you that have the same vision goals and aspirations now this might sting a little bit but some of you probably have some friends that are negative nancy's always whining always complaining and always broke and i'm going to tell you right now guys sorry to break it to you but if you continue to surround yourselves with people that are like that, it's gonna be very difficult for you to accomplish your financial goals and any other goals in life with that being said. Number three, take action. There's a big difference between knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge is knowing and wisdom is doing. Now, I know that very often overthinkers and overanalyzers want to know everything before they can do anything. However, you go into a state of analysis by paralysis where you think about it so much and so much and so much and you want to know everything, you want to know everything, and it's 12 months later and you haven't done anything. So, I believe that educate yourself enough to where you can take the first step because believe it or not, the majority of the wisdom and learning is going to happen as you actually get started. And I'm not saying to go out there and invest recklessly, you know, Neither extreme is good, but find a good balance. Educate yourself enough where you can take the first step and then take it from there. Now, one of the benefits about reading Rich Dad Poor Dad is that you're going to be able to leverage a lot of the mistakes that Mr. Rich Dad Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki made himself, that I made myself. So why are you going to try to just do it on your own and go through a really long learning curve trying to make up all the mistakes, which is actually going to cost you more money than buying the book. You see, people that are unsuccessful always focus on, oh, it's too expensive. Oh, I can't afford it. And successful people always think to themselves, if I don't buy that book, if I don't buy that online course, if I don't hire that mentor, how much does it cost me to not know that information in the next, you know, even over the next 12 months and even the next 10 years? So whenever I invest into education, if I buy in a course and it's say $2,000, I want to generate a 10 to 20x revenue on my investment. So if I buy something and I invest on a $2,000 product, then I want it to make me like 20, 40, 60 or $100,000 over the next five to 10 years. And every time I invest in education or mentorship, that's how I look at it. You see, poor people focus on, I can't afford it. And wealthy people think and focus on, how can I afford it? When you focus on, I can't afford it, you immediately create a block, like a big brick wall. Boom. Right? And that's it. You give up and you quit. But as soon as you say the words, how can I afford it? You start thinking and of ways that you can be resourceful. You might know someone that knows someone. What could you read? How can you get started today? You start searching for it. And I truly believe in the quote that whatever you look for finds you. So when you start to search for this education, this wisdom, this guidance, this coaching, this mentorship, guess what? It's going to find you. Now, here are some of the benefits of actually investing in real estate. Now, I want to remind you guys that you don't, you do not have to own real estate to get started. You don't need a real estate license. You don't need money and you don't even need credit. You can actually get started from ground zero the way I did. I started by renting out a three bedroom apartment. Now, the key word is renting. I was not owning. I rented a three bedroom apartment. I lived in one and I rented the other two rooms out to other people. 
And that's how I started getting experience as a property manager because I had to learn how to do a credit check, a background check, an income verification, a lease agreement, how to market the property. And all those things are you gonna are gonna help you in the future as you become your own property manager. And then eventually, once you actually hire a property management company, you will know what to expect because you would have already done it yourself. And that's what I believe. I you know, I believe in the philosophy is like, you know what? At least know enough that when you actually hire it out, you know what results should be expected because you're familiar with the process. Now, in the description below, I am going to link one of my other videos that talk about should you rent or should you own a home. It's a great video and I highly recommend it. With that being said, guys, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. I'll link everything down below and hit the little notification button so you can be notified every time I upload a video. So go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell and I'll see you guys next time.